What's going on everybody? It's Jay here, AKA Mojo Sports on YouTube. Today here we're at City Field. We are going to check out one of the best game used memorabilia programs in all of sports. Let's go check it out. Jay, nice to meet you. Ryan. Okay, man. How are you? Doing Welcome pretty good, to the man. amazing memorabilia store. I'm in a museum right now. One of the best memorabilia stores in all of sports. So let me show you around. So if I'm a brand new collector in here, how do I know all these items are authentic? We work with Authenticators Inc. So what happens is they send two authenticators to every single home game here at City Field. And what they're doing is sitting next to the dugout watching the field of play. So they're watching baseballs, bats, bases, and anything that's coming off the field so they can authenticate it and guarantee its authenticity. Here we go. There it is. So you have the tamper-proof hologram right on there. So fans have the ability to go on MLB.com slash authentication, look up the details of that baseball, and I'll have all the details there for them. I think that's the biggest thing in the industry that we like we run in trouble with is like fake autographs, fake memorabilia. And I think the MLB authentication card, I've always believed in it because they put it in the tops cards and they've also put it on the game used items. To me, it's like, that's what you want. You want to make sure you're coming home with like a real item. And I love that the MLB does that. All right, so I noticed you guys have a wide collection of game used bats. Tell me about these bats. Perfect, so we have game used and team issued bats here from your favorite Mets players. So this one here, is a Pete Alonzo game used bat. So as you see here, it has the MLB authentication hologram on it, and it'll tell you exactly what happened in that bat. So as you can see, that's a Pete Alonzo hit for a single. Pitcher Zach Wheeler, batter Pete Alonzo, result single, sixth inning. So it's so specific. And, it, and if I look this hologram up, it'll come up with that. It will give you that exact information. So we talked about game issued versus team issued. I noticed this Brandon Nimmo is team issued. Tell me about the difference between that. Yes. So. The difference between game used and team issued, game used, a authenticator witnessed Pete using this bat. He knows that Pete hit a single with this bat and it broke. This, for example, is a Brandon Nimmo team issued bat. So this doesn't mean it was used in a game or anything like that by Brandon Nimmo. It was a bat that was made for Brandon Nimmo and then we collected it at a later date. All right, so I've been walking through the store and I noticed Pete Alonzo has his own shrine here. So tell me about that. You said you have an exclusive with Pete. Tell me what that means. So we have an exclusive partnership with Pete Alonzo for all autographed and game used items. We get him to sign the items and then we sell it. So basically anything autographed game used is gonna come from amazing memorabilia. If I pull that hologram off, does it leave something there? Yeah, so it is tamper proof. So if you were to go peel this hologram off, it would destroy the hologram totally, leaving a residue on the item. So you guys have a huge game used collection. But I'm also curious, I've seen a lot of autograph memorabilia, not game use. So tell me about the authentic autographs that you guys sell here at the Mets. Each piece of amazing memorabilia is authenticated by Authenticators Inc. So that's anything from photos to baseballs that can include players that play now as well as the old timers. I know you guys had Old Timers Day, so tell me about yes. old, old Timers Day with the Mets. Yeah, so Old Timers was great. We had a bunch of the older players come to the field. We did a bunch of signings with all of them. As you can see there, we got Mike Piazza Hall of Fame, Doc Gooden, we got Mookie Wilson, we got all of them. Again, so are the players all signing at Old Timers Day? So tell me how that works. We met them here at City Field in one of our conference rooms. They were all in the room. We got them to sign all the different items. They were ecstatic to be a part of the weekend and it was, it was a really good event. All right, so when I used to go to games, you'd get a little program and I used to keep the ticket. Mm -hmm. But I never had the opportunity where I could go to a game and actually buy the baseball or the base or the game used item from the store. And you guys offer that opportunity. If I'm a first time fan walking in the store and I want something game used from today, how does that happen? Yeah, so that's one of our big, uh, big things here at the Amazing Memorabilia Store. We call it fresh from the field. So fans are able to purchase either a game used baseball from the game that they're attending or a base. So as you can see here, we pull them right out of the ground. The authenticator yes. witnesses it. It's all dirty. It's heavier nice. than I thought. Yep. So people are. <laughs> people, Need a workout with this thing, dude. Yeah, right. They, they're heavy. So you can buy first, second, or third base um, throughout the game. Uh, it's one of our big selling points, and again, it's a, it's another way for fans to connect themselves to the actual game. So if they love Pete Alonso, we get a lot of fans who want to buy first base because Pete Alonso was standing on it all day. Do you think the game used bases sell better than the 
baseballs? No, baseballs are very popular. We collect baseballs throughout the game with MLB and then they become available in store at the seventh inning. We have a list of baseballs for them to be able to purchase and they range. Again, they start at $50. They could go all the way up to 500 depending on what happened with that baseball and then they have the ability to purchase it and take it home with them. So can they watch the game and then they're going to you guys and saying like, when, when can I buy it? When can I buy yes, it? Yes, yes, basically. The supply and demand is probably ridiculous. Yep. What do you do if multiple people want that one ball? So it goes, it does go by request. So if you put in a request, your name is at the top for that baseball and then so on and so is forth. Is the now. request like a signed thing? Or yes, you would go talk to one of our sales associates and we have a running list of who requested. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, man, so this is like my bread and butter. I've been traveling across the United States, buying and selling and trading sports cards for the last like two years here. You guys obviously have baseball cards. Baseball cards are huge for like kids, families. It's, an, it's, it's a pastime, just like baseball. Tell me about the partnership you guys have with Tops and the MLB uh, authentication program with your guys' sports cards. Cool, yeah, so we have an exclusive partnership with Tops. We send them game used items that we collect here at City Field. They chop it up into these little swatch pieces. We put them into cards. So some of these are limited edition, some of them are signed. So we have the ability to collect baseballs that are pitched to Lindor, send them to Tops, and have them put them in an exclusive card. Every time they're cutting up a baseball or a jersey, Tops has an authenticator on site. That's also witnessing that that's actually the jersey being put in that card. They're again guaranteeing that that piece was worn by the Alonso. September 25th of 2019. Like that's amazing that has a timestamp and a date because that's important to people. Yeah, if absolutely. I'm gonna buy something like that, I wanna know exactly what was going on during that. Because I, I, once again, I wanna get as close to the game as I can. Of course. That's cool. All right, man, so I heard this is the most popular thing at this entire store, the grab bag. Yes, the grab bag, the amazing memorabilia grab bag. So what it is, people pay and then they have the chance to win an array of different items. So basically everything you see in front of us here, people have the chance to win for a low price. So we have autographed baseballs, we have autographed photos, we have plaques with game used elements in them. And then we also have top prizes, which could include Brandon Nimmo bats, game used jersey, and even higher end autograph items like Ron Darling. And you're getting your money's worth with this. Everything in the grab bag is equal or more than the value you paid. So you could win something that's $100, $200, or even three, $400. We replenish the grab bag every single day. So every single day, there's gonna be new items in there, there's gonna be new prizes and new chances to win authentic pieces of memorabilia. And people can buy the grab bags from the, right when the gates open until, can they buy them after? Yes, so we're open all game long. So we open when gates open, and then we're open usually half hour, 40 minutes after the game. When do you think is like the busiest time for this part of the, the grab bag? Like, would you say after a few innings? We see a large crowd come in right before first pitch. So we're talking 20, 25 minutes before the game. We got a line down the concourse and everybody's waiting to play the grab bag. So you guys have Mets fans from all around the world. And I know all, not all of them can make it to New York and they can't check out the museum here. The mm -hmm. Pete Alonzo Museum, the Shrine, the Topps cards, the grab bags, the game used bats. So if, I, if they can't make it to New York, where can they find some of these items? Fans have the ability, they can call us over the phone and we ship things right to their house. We also have um, auctions that run every single week and end on Sunday night. So if you visit Mets.com slash auction, you can check out a bunch of our higher end items there as well. I wanna thank you so much for having me. I don't even, this isn't even a store. To me, this is a museum. You guys have some of the most amazing, unique items I've ever seen for game used, and, and it's all authentic, and that to me, that means the most as a memorabilia collector myself, so awesome. thank you so much for having me. All right, yeah. let's go catch the game. Let's do it.